what's up you guys so i am a first impressions makeup tutorial this is the look that i got if you want to see what i used if i liked it and how i created this look then keep on watching okay so i'm starting off with eyes i'm gonna go in with this cara clara cosmetics bondi palette So first what I'm going to do is prime my face. I'm just going to use this primer that I already had. And moisturize my lips because I have the most chapped lips ever. Remember, this is the Inglot Eyeliner Gel in the shade 94. use this small Lexi shader brush to pick up the second shade right here and pack this on my eyelid. And I'm going to pick up a brush it in this first this shade right here and put it in my crease. Okay. I'm gonna use something a little fluffier and put this more burnt color, some burnt orangish kind of color in the crease to warm it up a little bit. there for the eye part. I really want to try this Kat Von D foundation. I have never used it so I'm going to go ahead and use this. I got it in the shade medium 53 neutral and then I also got the Kat Von D. I'm going to use the foundation brush, edge foundation brush to apply it. So this looks like a pretty good color and I kind of eyeballed it but then just to like double check I went into my Sephora app and looked at my color match colors and they did have the cap on D so this is supposedly my color. It smells kind of like paint. Why does this look so weird? So it does dry pretty quick. I really like this brush though. It looks scary. Okay, so far so good. I didn't really use too many pumps. I know it looks scary right now, you guys. Just wait till I do everything. Oh my god. It will come together. Okay, so I want to bronze my face a little bit, um, so I'm going to use this Anastasia Liquid Glow. It's a beauty blender. Oh, no. I don't know how I feel about that. For my under eye, I'm going to try this Anastasia Banana Stick Foundation. As my under eye concealer. Let's see if this can do miracles, y'all. It's kind of thick and dry. Let's attempt to blend this out. I need to wet this a little more beer a bit. So I feel like this is kind of emphasizing my pores. You know what? 
I actually kind of like it. I'm not even kidding. It did feel a little dry at first, but I had to just dampen my beauty blender a little bit more so it wouldn't just suck up all the product. But I really like it. Now my face looking a little. I'm gonna bronze it up though, that's true. I'm gonna bronze it up. So we're gonna set now, and I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Deep Setting Powder. It's a dark powder. I kind of like darkened it up a little bit. You guys, I forgot to blend out this side. I'm about to walk out looking a hot mess. So under eyes are set. Now let's add some color back to my face because I look like I done died and came back to life. So I'm gonna use the NYX. What is this? Sweet Cheeks palette blush palette i've been wanting this palette for so long can't believe i finally purchased it so let's add some you know what i need to do a highlighter because then when i do my highlighter first and then i do the blush it kind of helps like let my time i need to do face powder first <laughs> now to set my face i'm going to use my becca what is this perfect skin mineral powder foundation this is in the shade noisette my sete. My sete. I don't know. It cracked. It's okay though. So I did not buy any new highlights, which I'm completely surprised about. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Topaz Flashes of Healed. And I'm using my Real Techniques um, setting brush. Now I'm going in with my NYX Sweet Cheeks Palette. Open it. I'm gonna use this shade of red heel. It's kind of like a, it kind of reminds me of wet. What is it? Wet and wild. Um, what is it? Mellow wine or something wine? Something wine. I don't know. And I'm gonna apply it with my Lisa Frank brush. It's kind of small pan, so you gotta use like a smaller brush to pick up the product. Wow, my skin looks so like airbrush right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, do my liner, apply my mascara, and put on my lashes. By the way, for mascara, I'm gonna be using this one that I picked up from Ulta. It's the L'Oreal Luminous Million Lashes Excess. Excess, okay? So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, lashes, liner, and mascara is on. I did forget to do my brows, so I'm gonna go in really quickly. I picked this up from Marshalls for $2.99, and this is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in medium brown. So I will say I have been blessed with hairy brows, and it's both a blessing and a curse. So I really don't have to do too much to my brows. I can just use some kind of like fiber volumizing thing like this one and usually I'm um, that's enough so I'm gonna go ahead and try this and see how I like it I'm not too crazy about like the wand looks weird but let's see hey this is making them look kind of like fuller from the front which has always been like a problem of mine I think I like this 
Wow, you guys. This is like so much better than the other one I have, the other Maybelline one. <gasps> okay, so I found this at Marshall, so I hope they're not like discontinuing it or anything because this thing look, looks like... <laughs> oh, this is magic. A little bit too much in the front of that one, but... Whatever, I'm just gonna get a small little brush and pick up some of this like brown color in the corner and put some color on the bottom of my lash line so it doesn't look so naked. Okay, okay, last, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little MAC. Aaliyah by MAC products. I'm gonna line my lips with a lip liner I already had. So it's um, a MAC pencil in spice. And it's spice and it's spicy. And this is Aaliyah Try Again lipstick. Swatched it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go over that with her lip gloss in Brooklyn form. And excuse my messy hair, but this is. <laughs> can't do everything. So this is the finished look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Wait, what am I talking about? I, <laughs> I have to tell you how I like the products. Ugh. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you about any of the old stuff that I already had. I'm just gonna tell you guys about the new stuff that I bought and my final thoughts. This Cara palette, Clara palette. This is supposed to be like an Australian brand. It says 100% color pigmentation, and I must agree with that. This, these colors are just beautiful on my eyes. $13, you can't beat it. I think in Australian money, it was like 50 something or 60 something, and I think this is, I think it was like 68 or something like that. So I wanna say that's about a 50 something dollar palette in American dollars and I got it for 13 so this is super worth it I know they have another color I got okay, this from this was from March so this is definitely a yay my NYX you guys know I love NYX blushes I am a sucker for their ombre blushes and just to have a palette like this with all these different colors I paid 10 bucks for this you can't beat it the pigmentation is is amazing so this is also a win. I love how my lips came out. Like this is just such a pretty color. I mean, I'm in love with this. I really feel like getting some backups because I'm like, look at this, look at this. So these two are definitely a yay for me. This is a win. Like look at my brows. Like, I am so happy with this. I'm so happy. I hope this is not discontinued. I don't know why it was at Marshalls. I, please, Maybelline, do not discontinue this because this thing is like magic. You guys need to go buy this. If it's still like at Ulta or Walgreens or whatever, go get it. Go get it. This mascara, I did not like. I don't even know why I keep buying L'Oreal mascaras because every time I buy them, I get so disappointed. Um, Voluminous Million Lashes excess. Like, this, this did not make my lashes look like no million dollars they were it it lengthened them a little bit but it didn't like I like them more like I like the volume I like like that like that Too Faced better than sex like it's just like I don't know how to say it like it's, it's just like I don't know this just wasn't a win for me I don't like it I don't like it I don't see myself using this the Kat Von D foundation brush love it i love it i love it this thing works amazing um i did get a really good deal for both of these the foundation thus far i have to see how it works throughout the day but it looks pretty good i'll tell you this i do like it a lot better than my tarte shape tape foundation and i also like it better than the clinique clinique 
think it's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in one. I think that's what it is. And both of those, as soon as I put them on, I felt like they just look really orangey on my skin and they just, I didn't like them. And this one, I will say I like a lot better. Uh, I would have to see how it wears. I'd have to see like if it cracks. It is a little drier on the drier side, but I haven't even spritzed my face with like Fix Plus or anything yet. So, I mean, I really like it though. And this thing, the Tarte Shape Tape Powder, this is this is definitely, I see myself using this a lot. This is a win. Oh my god. Put this back in there. That just shook everywhere. So my dumb ass took the powder out, the powder poof, and now, now there's powder everywhere. Fail. So anyways, this thing, I love it. Love it, love it. Too Faced Chocolate Sole. This isn't new, but I did pick this up from TJ Maxx. I love this thing. I mean, as far as this, I'm mean, like, I've used this many, many times before. Love it. Uh, I think it's at TJ Maxx because they've discontinued this packaging. They no longer will have this packaging. They already have the new packaging. Oh, it's super cute, but like, it's the same product. Yeah. Three more products, you guys. So, the Liquid Glow by Anastasia in the color bronze. I didn't really care for it too much, um, but I also didn't put a lot on, so I have to play with this a little more and see uh, if I like it or not. So it was 10 bucks. I mean, not like it was a lot. Now this banana foundation stick, this thing worked a lot better than I thought it was gonna look. I couldn't find too many reviews online about it. Yeah, I seen like a lot of people were complaining that it was kind of dry, and it, it was. Like initially when I put it on, it was like, a little dry-ish so I had to make sure my view blender was really wet but once I did wet my view blender a little more and I went ahead and like blended it out it looked really good I really like it so I'm glad I picked this up and I can definitely foresee myself using this a lot last is this Eve Alam um, powder foundation brush and this one was $16 kind of pricey for some brushes but it did feel like amazing when I was playing with it in the store and it did apply my powder foundation really nicely this I also looked online and I think they're also selling this like like in um, some Australian stores I think and it was also like $40, $50 brush or something so for 15 16 bucks I don't think that's too bad I think it applied really nicely and it seems like a high-end brush so this is definitely a win so anyways this is the final look you guys I hope that you enjoy this look and these little quick first impressions and make sure that if you have not yet that you like this video but anyways thank you guys for watching